Scenes like these have been unfolding in Israel and the Palestinian territories in recent days. As more hostages are let go by Hamas in exchange for the release of more Palestinians in Israeli prisons. The temporary truce between Hamas and Israeli forces is allowing more humanitarian aid into Gaza as well. But there's also another effect. It's allowing some Gazans a moment of reflection in the ruins of what was once their home. Reuters journalists found Ibrahim Kaninch in the city of Khan Yunis, near the border with Egypt, feeding bits of cardboard into this fire outside his partially destroyed house. He's making tea. He's saying that gathering around a bonfire like this used to be an Arab tradition, particularly for Palestinians. And although the practice was lost years ago, he muses that the war has brought back some parts of Palestinian heritage. But what's next, he asks. There's no electricity or water. There's shortages of all basic human needs. No house, no shelter, no clothes, food or water. Everything is scarce. Kaninch says the occupation, referring to Israel, can destroy homes but can't destroy their right to a homeland. The war has leveled large parts of northern Gaza, such as this area of Gaza City, and forced hundreds of thousands from their homes. Negotiators from Qatar and Egypt and the United States government are pushing for the ceasefire to extend beyond its Monday deadline.